Hey guys welcome back for another tutorial. And today we will be creating this nice web banner design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. You can also use this banner for your websites. So let's jump right into it. First go to file and create a new artboard with these dimensions. You can also choose any other dimensions that you like. Then select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Open the gradient panel and apply a gradient to this rectangle. Now select the gradient tool. And apply the gradient vertically like this. Change the white side of the gradient to a light blue color. And the black side to a dark blue color. Note down the RGB codes for these blue colors and apply them. Now select the ellipse tool, and create a circle while holding down the shift key. Align it to the center of the artboard. And scale it up to create a large circle. Apply the same gradient to this circle vertically. Click on this left slider of the gradient and decrease its opacity to zero. Now change the color of this right slider to another blue shade. Note down the RGB code for this color as well. Now we will create copies of this circle. Create a copy of this circle. And paste it in front. Slightly scale down this copy of the circle. And from the gradient panel, click here to invert its gradient. Now change its color to a bright blue shade. Also note down the RGB code for this color. Now create a copy of this second circle. And paste it in front. We will use this circle to create a clipping mask. Slightly scale down this third circle. This circle is now our first layer. Now drag this house image in Illustrator. And align it to the center. You can download this image from the video description. Scale it up according to your requirement. And place it behind the first circle. Now select the image and the first circle. Go to object and create a clipping mask. Expand this clip group from the layers panel. And select the clipping shape. Click here to activate the stroke. And apply a yellow stroke to it. Increase the stroke value to 10. Note down the RGB code for this yellow color. Now we will add some text for our banner. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle here. Change its color to white. Now we will slightly transform this rectangle. Select the transform tool. Click and hold this anchor point. Then hold down the control key and drag this anchor point slightly towards right. Now hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Change its color to the same yellow shade. Scale down this copy. And adjust its shape slightly. Place it on a position like this.
Now select the type tool, and write some text for these rectangles. Also transform this text as the rectangle. Repeat the same step to transform this text as we did for the rectangle. Change its color to yellow shade. And align it to the center of the rectangle. Create a copy of this text, and replace it with some other text. Change its color to black. Decrease its font size according to the second rectangle. And place it in the center. Select this full text. And adjust its position on the right side. Now create a copy of this full text, and place it on the opposite side. Swap the positions of these rectangles. And replace the text. Add some price here on this white rectangle. Use some decent font for the price text. Increase the font weight to bold. And adjust the font size. Note down the font that I've used here. And this was the previous font. Adjust the position of this full text. Now select these white and yellow rectangles. Go to Effect and apply a shadow to them. Note down these values for the shadow. And hit OK. Now these headlines are looking more appropriate. Now you can add your logo at the top left corner. I will use this logo just to give you an idea. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down and place it here at the top left corner. Now we will add some extra shapes for our banner. Select the line tool, and create a horizontal line here. Click here to activate the stroke. And apply this yellow color to the stroke. Slightly adjust the position of this line. Create some copies and place them as you like. Apply different colors to make them more appropriate. Select all these lines. Hold down the ALT key. And create a copy for the opposite side. Now arrange them as you like. These are just random shapes. So you don't need to be very perfect.
Now add some more shapes here. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Change its color to white, and scale it down to create a really small circle. Right click on this circle, go to transform, and select transform each from the list. Change the horizontal movement to 10 pixels, and create a copy. Select both these circles. Again right click, and transform each. But this time, change the vertical movement to 10 pixels, and create a copy. Now press Ctrl D to repeat this step several times. Select all these circles. Press Ctrl G to group them. And place them on a position like this. Hold down the Alt key and create a copy for the opposite side. Now our banner is complete. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to object, and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.